I want to be able to wake up, take maybe two or three pills, go to work, and be on the same like basis as everybody else. Like they're here, I'm here, or maybe I'm I'm here because I'm successful. You know? I have a God-given right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. At the very least, life. This is real patients, really suffering, waiting for real medicine. When you're sick and you deal with sickness every day, to be able to function, it's, you know, it's, it's something that a lot of people take for granted. I don't think there's anything more frightening for a parent than to watch your child go through something like this. When your loved one is suffering, you'll do anything to help them. And I don't think that that's so, so unusual or so remarkable. That's really, that's the human spirit. Mm, it was emotional. Mm -hmm. To see the struggles those kids go through, and the families and the parents, and to be denied a plant. They open the door. They are the heroes in the Long term, he just cannot continue to take opioids. Medical marijuana kind of get, opens up a door of, of possibility that wasn't there before. For us, that's, that's life changing. This is really happening. This is actually turning into this amazing program that's gonna help countless Pennsylvanians. I believe cannabis will not only help keep me alive, I believe it will give me a better lifestyle. I think we both see light at the end of the tunnel and it's not a train coming at us. <laughs>